These are 2020 models. Oh yeah, she grows. at the uh, Alex Line and Son auction. We, uh, last video we kind of, that was a late one. It was a uh, long day. Long day, sure. long dry and dusty. So I did buy a D7F in the last video you guys seen. I've never heard it run. Supposedly uh, Mike from Dirt Perfect is down here and he got a video of them trying to start it running on ether or something. I'm not sure. So when me and Kevin looked at it, it was plumb out of fuel. So we got some fuel today in the new service truck golf cart. We're going to go down here and try to do a wheel at start on my own piece I bought at the auction. So. We're going to get our hands dirty today. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it just needs fuel and that's it. So Hopefully it goes backwards and forwards and does everything it's supposed to. So It's an ex-Navy uh, tractor at some point in its life, but uh, it's been painted yellow. It doesn't have a whole lot of hours on. Still, still a good dozer yet. So. The paint looks good. Yeah, from a distance. They're getting ready to sell trucks and stuff. This is uh, Saturday here at the auction. They're going to be selling trucks and all that good stuff. So we're going to see what we can get fired up here. Then we're going to go around and check our other equipment that we bought. You guys can see what we got here. But there is the beauty right there. So sneak around back here. And uh, we'll get some fuel put in our first thing. See if we can get something blood out and go from there. empty nothing showing on the stick me and Kevin like I say tried to start it batteries are about dead hopefully our jump pack will get it going here so. all right we got it filled up with fuel thing is on the uh, add line so we're gonna put a little oil in it get her filled up and we'll go try to bleed the fuel out Got the jump pack on it, kind of warming the batteries up here, getting a little juice in those. Let's see if this uh, fuel pump bleeder works. Oh, yeah. Got fuel coming right out of it. dump that fuel in the tank. Been talking to some people. She may have, may have got fuel up in her. You ready to try it? On the edge of my seat. Are you? Yeah. Everybody else is. I know. Those are good signs, right? Yeah. We got enough juice to crank it. Disconnect on. I do have a little ether. That's because we don't have much battery left. I'm gonna preheat the glow plugs a little bit. Let's 
see what happens. <laughs> Sticky controls, it's been sitting. Old military tractor. Needs some fluids, change, antifreeze, transmission stuff, but we'll do out in the shop. Okay, it's not a bust. No, I'm good with it. I gotta do something to track, but it's good enough to get loaded on truck. I'm gonna let it sit there and run for a little bit while I go check some other stuff out because it is charging the battery. So and she's purring like a kit, no blow by. Feels good, so I'm happy with it. I think I may have bought this roller. It's on my sheet. This little guy cost that much money? Well, I think he's brand new. Where's my book at? Okay. So I've been watching these bid last couple days, and this one's kind of cheap. I've never even looked at it. It's got 34 hours on it. Hey, it runs. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. 6208. 6208. Yeah, is that the one I bought? Yeah. Okay. I lost the boat in it. She's brand new. We uh make sure it's got antifreeze. You wanna get that antifreeze tester? Yeah, how come oh, there's she's got no good. cap on the fuel? Oh really? Did somebody there's no cap on the fuel? Fuel or water tank? I don't know. Really? Freaking people. Got thieves at the auction. I stole my freaking fuel tank. Oh, it's, it's good. Um, we'll get a couple pictures thing. We need to make sure the water's drained out of the tank, too. It's got a water tank on it. So 
been freeze on its way home. Freaking thieves. got a little water in. This is stuff you got to watch for. It's all nice and warm down here, but when it gets home, it's not so warm, so. Can you put that cap on the fuel? No, we'll have to get something for it to put in there. It's a bad thing about buying stuff at auctions. People mess with your crap. Get that back in there. Probably turn the water pump on. I have put antifreeze in these before. Probably need to drain these out here. Make that to work. It's all full of sand. Oh, that's open. That one's open. They got that all drained out. Yeah, okay, we'll get something put in that tank and then we'll uh, check the next piece. So that little roller. I bid on it, but I walked away. They supposedly had another bid. I bid a certain number, then they got another bid a thousand dollars higher. Wanted me to bid again, and I shook my head and walked away, didn't I? I didn't see it, so that's just that's your work. So the bid they got above me was not a real bid, and as I was walking away, I heard my number called 950. So I ended up buying it anyway. That's how it works down here with old Mr. Jack sometimes. So. Or anyone else that now knows your bidder number. Well, that bitter number's dead, bud. By the time this video Tomorrow, comes out, it won't work anymore. No <laughs> That's why I gave it out. So anyway, that's, uh, Jack knows that people like me are dealers, and a lot of times he'll just throw stuff on, which I'm still happy with the deal. It sold still about $1,500 less than what the other ones were selling for a couple days ago. So that machine probably already sold once. They rolled it back over here into the uh, row again. Um, Stuff don't bring enough money, you just keep cycling it down the way, so that's what happened with it. But anyway, we're going to uh, go down here and check out the other stuff we bought. All right, we got uh, I think I bought how many did I buy all together? Six, six, six. six of these uh, 313Fs. We're gonna go through and check these. I think I bought all four of these in a row, is that right? Yeah, uh, I choiced them, I took them all. Um, we'll start these dudes up and see how low they can get. Um, our step deck height. Somebody's had some ice cream. I bet this one could be dead. Some of them's dead. These are 2020 models. Oh yeah, she grows. So these are all 2020s here. So step deck height, all the higher we can be is 10 foot 2. We'll get the boom folder down here and get a measurement. they get yeah these are nice machines that got hydraulic thumbs on them quick couplers pretty sure we're way under height there but we'll check it here getting all these um, measurements for shipping purposes. Look down the outside of the track. Okay, 106 on that one. That ought to be good. I'll shut this dude off. Check over the antifreeze and some of that stuff. And uh, be ready to ship her home to Indiana. We got all four of those checked out right there. We got one more 313 over here, I think. Okay. What number is it? It was earlier. Um, 5923. Be right here. It's also a 2020. Yep. 2020, 2500 hours. She set up identical. Looking good. And we got a nice looking. 308E hydraulic thumb quick coupler new rubber pads again this is low hours these are pretty nice machines yep 2018 
a little dirty from being down here in this dusty mess. It's freaking been dry and hot down here. We'll get this one checked out. Then we've got a couple Kubota tractors and one more excavator, I believe. Do have these two Kubota B26 tractors. We checked them out earlier. I do have two John Deere skid steers way down there. A 333G and a 331G. And I got one more cat over here. We actually checked it out in another video too. Yeah, we'll make sure that nobody's messed with it, done anything with it. I'm gonna hurry up and get this stuff out of here next week. All right, got one last 313F LGC. Last thing about it, it's got the narrow pads. It is illegal shipping with. That one's a little bit older. Is it taller? No. Yeah. It's got the boom tucked up, so we'll go over and check out the old D7, make sure she's still running. Got a bunch of people coming up yeah, to it, it now. Yeah, it's in a crowd. Yeah. Well, I think we could have put it in the auction today and probably got another 10 grand out of it. So let's flip it. Let's not even take it home. Let's roll it over to next. We could. Week. We could. Done that before, have we? Yeah. Yeah. I've got. I got an individual from back home to YouTube here that's been uh, been wanting to buy something like that off me. I think that's going to make him a good tractor once we go through it. So. He's going to be happy to hear it started today. He is. Yep. So. Well, they are day. He sent me an email last night that he's still wanting one. So I said I might have the tractor for you. But uh, we'll go over and make sure she's still percolating. Hope she's got the batteries charged up enough, and we'll get her loaded up and sent home next week. There you see how 700 it sold for 28,000. That blade is rough. rough. Did she... they just cut it out of the platform? No, that's just wore out. Oh. Wore out. It's very pitted. Oh, she's still running. Sounds good. It does. Nobody's tried to take my kitty cat. Got a squeaky belt. Shut the disconnect off. And we'll hope that nobody monkeys with the dude. Hopefully she's charged up enough. She was still charging good. Alright, so that's about it here. They're getting ready to sell bouncy houses today and some trailers. Last chance to grab one for Kevin? Mm, no. We don't need one. So today's Saturday at Jack Lawrence. So they're going to be selling all these trucks trailers. They've got uh, a whole bunch of attachments they'll be selling probably Sunday. A lot of it's all China import stuff so I tend to stay away from that. We stock some kind of intermediate attachments that are made in the USA. So you didn't buy any attachments at uh, the sale for Uncle Scott? No, they don't have many really other than China stuff and I don't like selling China stuff. You gotta watch the China attachments. They um, have a lot of Chinese fittings and hoses on them. And they're hard to get, and you know they're just not built the same either. So loading up out for here. Yeah, guys are getting loaded. So uh, I'm gonna send all of our info over to my shipper. He's gonna start working on stuff, getting it rolled back. We're getting ready to head over to Jeff Martin's. So uh, is that where the elk statue is? It is, unfortunately. If you guys want to uh, follow along on that, if not subscribed yet, you might consider doing so hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out and if you want to see miss cnc making fun of me you're going to endorse me right now you can jump over on her channel what's it called mrs cnc mrs cnc mrs. Clint if i remember CNC. i'll put it down in the description you can get to see some behind the scenes action down here so yeah you want to see me um, inspect a dumpster it's kind of yeah i'm, I'm your gal yeah anyway but uh, if you guys liked the little video, quick video we did today, D7F was pretty much uneventful. It's about what I expected, so she did start up and run. Like we say, had our golf cart service truck going. Too. I did buy that thing. Had no idea it ran. It's just how I bought it. Took the gamble on that. So I know we probably could have sold it to some old guys that come up for a while ago. So but, uh, anyway, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. So we can keep doing this kind of stuff, and uh, we got plenty more auction videos to come. So. See you guys next time.